Hi, the next thing that I want to look at is the ground floor slab. As you can see, the ground floor is made up of different wall types and does not form an enclosed loop. Therefore, you can't simply right click on a wall and generate a floor face from the walls. Instead, you will need to trace the perimeter of the exterior walls with your slab tool. However, I am aware that this slab does not perfectly match the shape of the exterior walls. Therefore, I have traced the perimeter of the exterior walls and added the required shapes with the line tool, and then I have grouped them, and that's it here. Now, I could model the slab in place, but instead, I prefer to move the lines a set distance away and then use it to trace my slab. I just find this to be slightly quicker than trying to trace around the walls again, as you avoid any extra geometry. I explode it to make it easy to trace. And then I'm going to hazard a guess as to the thickness of the slab and the footing details as I don't know them, but it is parametric so I can change it at any time. And this becomes a simple tracing exercise. Then you can delete the lines that you used as reference and move the slab back in. However, as stated previously, if you prefer, you can model the slab in place.